Slightly slower set with the legs. So we've got two leg moves today. The first move is a step up. So all we're going to need is a surface about the height of a box. The height of a box, that doesn't even make sense. Height of a chair, couch, bed, kind of standard piece of furniture in your house. And we're going to come start with one foot on the surface you found, step up, and down. Now if you're looking to make this harder, just don't put much weight on your bottom foot. So up, and then just touch down, back up. If you're not quite there yet, put a little more weight down on the ground, use a little more momentum to get up. All right, so one minute of those on the right leg, right into one minute of elevated bridges. Up and down. Up and down. All right, coming back up, we're gonna get both of those moves on our left side for one minute each as well. So we've got four minutes of leg work, followed by one minute of rest, and we'll get right back into that set two more times, totaling three times. Final portion of our workout is gonna be abs. So we're not gonna need any equipment for this one. We're gonna come down onto our mat, starting in a plank, this is our only plank movement. Other than that, we're just gonna be lying on the mat here. And for this movement, we're just gonna hop our feet up to our hands, kind of like a little frog, and then back down, up, back down. Now, if you don't wanna jump, whether it's because of an injury, your fitness level, or you're just in an apartment and you don't wanna get your neighbors wet, step up, touch the knees to the elbows, back down, all right? If you're stepping, it's just kind of on you to keep the pace up, but it's a perfectly good substitution. No need to jump if it, you're not comfortable with it. All right, next three moves, we're gonna come down onto our back, starting with a reverse crunch. So, reverse crunch, I'm gonna have my feet up in the air, head on the ground, nice relaxed upper body, hands to the side, and then I'm just gonna use my lower abdominal muscles to lift the legs off the mat, and back down. So just a small movement, hips coming off the mat, and then lowering back down. Up, back down, up, back down. All right, we've got 15 of those. So 10 of the first move, 15 of the second. Coming into 20 of the third. This is where we're gonna get a little bit on the other side of our core, in the back, the spinal muscles. Coming into 20 low back extensions. So lift and lower. Any of these low back extensions, always important to really squeeze the glutes, really squeeze the core to protect the low back. Other than that, just get as much range of motion as you can without letting the abs or the glutes go down. And you can kind of see I'm looking right down in front of me to keep my spine straight through my neck. And so our third and fourth move, four moves, we're gonna end with some Russian twists, get the obliques, the rotation, side to side. So here, my feet are on the ground. If I want to make it a little harder, I'll lift my feet off the ground for 25. So 10 of the first, 15 of the second, 20 of the third, 25 of the fourth. Have a little bit of a break, and then we'll go back right through that, just like the leg moves two more times. After that, we're good to go. We've got our abs, our back, our legs, and some cardio, and we're on with our day. Looking forward to it.